So I broke down because I felt I couldn't catch a break. Another tale of a lost soul. Study said that I wouldn't live to be old. From North, the heart of North Tulsa. A lot of us don't get to be old. All throughout the country in what they call the quote unquote hood that we called home growing up in, a lot of our, a lot of our people were dying. A lot of us dying at, at the hands of our own self. And so the studies say that if you grow up where I'm from, you're probably not gonna live to be 30. And so you gotta deal with that. Study said that I wouldn't live to be old. Shy boy, hoop dreams were the so cold. They used to bully me. They used to bully me, y'all. I remember being in, running through the parking lot, running through a school, school playground, getting chased by the bullies. Trying to run as fast as I can, heartbeat, pan. <sighs> I can't catch me, oh, they can't catch me. They caught me, three of them, picked me up, boom! Body slam. Punched me in the stomach, punched me in the stomach. Drug me to a swimming pool, threw me in the swimming pool. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm little though, I'm little. Fighting, all my heart threw me in the water, held me down on the water, and I'm just trying to fight. I'm flailing, I'm flailing. They holding me, holding me. I just knew I was done. It was it. I was a goner. I was done. I knew I was done. Last second, they pulled me up. I'm like, <gasps> trying to catch my breath, and they just jumped out of the pool, started laughing, and took off running. I'm sitting there defeated. It's broken. I don't just get up and run out of the pool. I sit on the side of the pool. And I'm thinking to myself, Lord, please help me. Give me the strength to find a way to make these, these people respect me. Give me the strength to not have to deal with this. I was done. I was done. They used to bully me. And then I finally struck gold. Then I finally struck gold. One, two, and you don't stop. I fell in love when I got introduced to hip hop. My new release. We all need a good release. See, when I put my pen to pad, it gave me total inner peace. So let me introduce the new me to me. Confidence erupted. I was truly seeing life. We all are going to deal with certain things on a daily basis. And what happens is if you don't know yourself, if you don't know what your gifts are, if you don't know what you were brought in this world to do, you're not going to have a positive release. We all need a positive release. Because if you don't have a positive release, we turn to drugs. We turn to alcohol. We turn to overeating. We turn to abusing, abusing other people. We turn to all kind of things that are detrimental to us as a whole. See, life is not about making all the money in the world, which is nice. Nice to have a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But it's about having an inner peace. Me and my, me and my, my videographer were just talking about, about that a minute ago. He said he's in, a, he's in a peaceful place in his life right now. He might not have all the money, but he has a mental peace. And part of having a mental peace is knowing how to have positive releases.